Hey, thanks for pressing play on this video where we're going to be discussing the annual percentage rate or APR. Now, before we go into some calculations, uh, one of the first things we want to address is really what is APR. Now, APR is simply the cost that you pay each year to borrow money. Now, this cost also includes fees and other sorts of things such as uh, service charges and is expressed as a percentage. And really, APR is really helpful because it not only ref reflects the interest rate that you are incurring, but also any of these other sort of ancillary fees that we often don't think about when we're evaluating a loan. Now, APR is great because it allows you to compare different loan products. So if you're thinking about applying for a credit card, you can compare the APR between two different credit card options and make a decision as to which one will be better for you. So in this video, as I mentioned before, now that you have an understanding of really what APR is and the value of it, we're going to walk through how to calculate it. And this is going to be a very simple process. So to start us off, let's kind of create a little bit of a scenario for us to perform a few different calculations. So let's say that we're going to borrow money and we're going to borrow money just for simplicity's purposes on the first of the year. So January 1st, 2021, and we're going to borrow uh, $500. And we're gonna to try to determine really what our APR is. Now there's a couple of pieces of information we need to know. The first thing we need is we need our interest rate. So we're gonna abbreviate that as little i. And our interest rate, I'm sorry, but the interest that we pay over that period. And that's gonna be $25. And just to add another element to it, we're gonna add a service charge, which I'll show as C or SC. And that's gonna be $7. Now, in order for us to calculate APR, we need to know a couple of things. So APR, and I'm gonna write the formula over here, equals any finance charges that we incur, and we divide that by the principal, which is the original loan amount. So our principal in this case is gonna be the $500 because that's the amount of money that we borrowed, and all of the interest is really a derivative of that number. Uh, but we also have this service charge figure. So the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out really what are these finance charges? Well, the finance charges are really any of the charges that we incur as a result of the loan, commonly interest, but also things like service charges. So if we were to add these two figures up together, our finance charges would actually be $32. And then moving forward with the formula, in order for us to figure out our APR, we're gonna take those $32 in service or finance charges and we'll divide that by our $500 principal. Now going through the math and the calculations, you should get 0 0.064, or if you express as a percentage, remember APR is designed to be expressed in percentage form, that is 6.0. 4%. Now, this is helpful because APR, again, is more inclusive of all of the charges associated with a particular loan of some kind. Now, if we were just to go off the interest rate, right, that would simply be the $25 that we paid divided by 500, right? So in that case, we're really only looking at 0.05 or 5%. But this isn't really an accurate representation of what our real cost is because we do have service charges and other things. So from a credit card standpoint, you would obviously include whatever interest charges you incur. But if your credit card, for example, has a annual fee, which is not incredibly uncommon, especially if your credit card provides a great deal of rewards points and those sorts of things, those are things we want to consider because that is a part ultimately of what we're paying. So hopefully now with a little bit of understanding of how to calculate APR, one, you can do this uh, for a class of some kind if that's, what's, uh, that's what you need it for, but also from a personal finance standpoint, it allows you to, again, get a better idea of what you're really paying, what your true cost of credit is, uh, and also helps you evaluate those different options. So when you see APR uh, expressed on maybe terms and conditions of a loan, you're going to have an understanding of what that is in reference to. All right. Thanks for watching.